I'm putting off wrapping my gifts, so I figured I would show you everything I'm gonna be putting in my kids' stockings this year. I've got a lot. At first I thought, oh, I was able to narrow it down and really consolidate it into this one box. And then I looked out of the corner of my eye and realized, oh, I have an entire grocery bag full of goodies for the kids' delight. Are these all? Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, they definitely are. All right, we're gonna get into it. Some of the stuff is thrifted. Surprise, surprise. Actually, this whole bag might be, no, it's not. Um, most of it, it, I have some unique items. Oh, I forgot about the exciting items over here. So I did some research and I was really trying to dig deep and thinking like, what can I get them that's not a toothbrush? That's what I normally put in my kids' stockings. I'm like, oh, it's functional. Everyone could use a new toothbrush, right? But my kids use the electric toothbrushes that just have the interchangeable heads. And I'm like, there's nothing exciting about that. I have five kids. Their ages range from one to 13. It's one, four, seven, 10, 13. So I have a wide range of ages to cover and interests. So I think you're gonna find some gems in this video. And if there's time, I'm gonna share with you what I got my husband, Alex, for Christmas. We'll see. I got a lot of stocking stuffers, okay? So in no particular order, mostly because I haven't organized any of this stuff. The first thing I'm gonna show you is not a stocking stuffer. But it's this. I got it from Target. It was in the dollar spot for $3. Can someone make this for me? It is a Golden Girls cross stitch. That was in my bag. Maybe I'll commission one of my children to do that. Buckle up. Believe it or not, it gets more exciting than that. I'm actually like, I have so much crap. There is no way I'm gonna be able to fit all of this into their stockings. I, In my mind, I'm like, oh, Am I going to buy that? Do I want that for my kids? Either going in their stocking or under the tree, right? Because it is the month of December. Anyway, I found these. This is one of the first things that I got. It's nothing special. It's a jar of Nutella, but it is special because it's a glass jar. It's one that you can reuse, put it as a cup. This is how they sell them in Europe. And I used to save my jars, but when we moved, I didn't bring them with me. I don't know, maybe they broke over the years. I feel like I used to have a couple of them, but either way, I'm excited to have this one. That's gonna be mom's stocking, okay? Someone's gotta put something in my stocking. I also got some silly putty. This is great to put in a stocking. I don't know why I only got one of these. All of my kids are gonna fight over this. Don't ask me how I'm gonna fit this in Meredith's stocking, but she really loves these like mess-free pads of paper and it comes with like an invisible pen here. Hey, speaking of invisible pens, I got something amazing i don't know who this is going to maybe wentworth a part of me thought i ordered more than this probably wentworth because the girls have so much stuff this is an invisible ink pen and my kids always have so much fun with invisible ink pens discover all of the things also i was watching another stocking stuffer video and she bought these for her kids and i thought my kids would have a field day with those it is a magnetic wand and it's a set of six, so I just have to buy one set for all of my children to enjoy. It's just like an open-ended toy where you, you're just like, oh, a magnetic wand? Let me go outside and see what I can find. Or let me go inside and see, do you know what I mean? Like just, it's a magnetic wand. Let them run wild, let them run free, let their imagination go. Ooh, also for my stocking. <laughs> Didn't realize I got myself so much. I really just think I ordered these and then, uh, oh, these are silicone. Oh, that was a mistake. I didn't know they were silicone. I got reusable straws for like, you know, the big old cups that we use. Here's another new and exciting one. I got three of these and they are magnifying glasses. I joke that I need one of these in my real life. And it's actually not a joke because most of the time I do. But I feel like my kids are gonna have a field day with this too. This actually feels really nice and quality. It's heavy weight. It doesn't feel like a chintzy plastic little thing that you use once, it's gonna break and then you leave it outside to get ruined by nature. This is something that's going to be around our house for probably a long time because of the quality of it. So I got one of those for each of the bigger kids. Oh my gosh, okay, this isn't a stocking stuffer per se. It could be, and couldn't everything be a stocking stuffer? This is actually going to be a white elephant gift, one of them, because we have like this long stick in our family that like sometimes people put money in it. Last year they did that. So anyway, I'm trying to find something that will fit in there. It's really skinny, so it is quite challenging. And I found these that's a light up chopsticks and they're made out of like acrylic or something. I don't know, obviously it's food safe. 
How can I turn it on? Oh, you have to like pull it and stuff. I don't want to do that, but it's a lightsaber chopstick. And I thought that was just funny and fun. Also functional. The three F's that I'm looking for in life. Ooh, another one that our kids really enjoy are mini flashlights. So I got a package of six of them. It came in a pack of six, I think. Oh, batteries not included. Anyway, our kids love these mini flashlights. Another thing that they love that I didn't get are those laser lights. Oh my gosh, first of all, did I order one? I don't think so. Alex loves it because when we're like around the house or he's like showing them to do something, he's like pick that up over there and he'll like put a laser on it. But it's also fun for the kids. They can, you know, they just do a lot of stuff, especially if you have a cat, get a laser pointer. I'm sure you're, you are already aware about that. But it's just a lot of fun, endless fun and flashlights are no different, especially when the sun goes down at like 2 p.m. You're like, get your flashlights out. We live in Florida, you know, hurricane season and all that good stuff. Never know when you need a flashlight and when you don't need one but want one. Just another great toy for them to play with. Something that I got for my two older daughters is a portable fan. It's a little mini portable fan so they can keep it like in their pocket, in their backpacks. If they're going to a theme park with their friends, they can put it in their little, I don't know, purse or whatever that they have. It would also be great when you're traveling. My daughter actually mentioned that she wanted one of these like when she puts on her face mask or something to dry it. She like wants a little mini fan. And I was like, oh yeah, maybe, maybe. Much to her surprise, I already ordered one for her stocking off of Amazon. I just think multi-use, I think they're going to love it, and it's just a mini portable fan. Who doesn't need one of those in their life? Another thing that I found on Amazon are these Christmas hidden pictures. It's actually a highlight book. It like, obviously, it has a highlighter in it, but the brand highlight, you get me, you know what I'm talking about. It's not your first time here, but it has 300 objects, like hidden objects that you find in like a puzzle thing. So I got one of these for each of the younger kids. I say younger, but like lower range of age. Not the one-year-old. I don't think he's ready for that yet. Okay, something else that I just snagged from Trader Joe's. I should have a couple more of these. I don't know where they are. They must have fallen out of the box or something. But it is just a candy cane. I like to just put a little treat in their stockings. I know some people do the orange at the bottom. Oh, that would be fun. This has something inside though. Cocoa cream filled center. Get me one of these, will ya? And then something else that I got from Amazon, so cool. I think I'm actually really excited about this, but I know my kids are gonna be excited about it too. It is a pocket microscope. Like, are you joking? A scientific microscope in my pocket? It's 60 to 120. What? Remember back in the day when we were in science class and that thing was like 50 pounds and you had to carry it and be careful not to break it? Now we can keep it in our pocket just like our phones. We got the world in our pocket these days. It is wild and crazy, but I just think like if they're outside exploring, you find a bug, you try to put it under this microscope. Find a leaf, is there bacteria on it? Find a dead fish, let me look at what's inside. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow doesn't get the respect it deserves these days. You know what I mean? Something else I found, I don't even know what this is. Color Twist Bath Bomb. Well, I guess there it is. Why is there a Ninja Turtle on it? I thought there was gonna be like a Ninja Turtle surprise in here. I found this at the dollar spot. Why is, it was a dollar. Packaging really got me. Go, go Ninja Turtles. Hey, you know what else I got? Instant snow, do-it-yourself snow. I got way too many of these. I can either put it in their stocking or it'll be a fun activity for Christmas Eve. Ooh, speaking of putting candy in their stocking, I got one for each of the bigger kids. M&Ms, Reese's, Skittles, Kisses, you name it. We got it. Will they share? Maybe. Should have got one for me, honestly. They're like a dollar. And then I found this. It's kind of like one of those Neato balls, but it's called Sugar Drops. It's just a squish ball. I don't even remember where I found this, but I was like, my son would love that. Just one of those like fidget toys, you know? Okay, a lot of this stuff is from the thrift store. Oh wait, and some of it isn't. Okay, these are from the Target dollar spot. Just nice cozy socks. Who doesn't want a nice cozy pair of socks in their stocking? I also found these were from the thrift store, but um, they're brand new. These fluffy pens. Just like fun and exciting little things to get them pumped about reading, writing, and arithmetic. 
It's like a clueless pen. Do you know what I mean? I paid like pennies for these. Love shopping at the thrift store. Shop secondhand, save money, save the environment, all the good stuff. I got this. My girls are always talking about doing stuff with their nails. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Getting them those fake press-ons. Every time they do it, it only stays on for like a day or half a day, max three days. That's if, you, if they get the really good glue. And plus they're like super large. Anyway, I found these it, if, at the thrift store. The whole bag was $4. It comes with some nail stickers, some nail, I don't know, accessories. Of course, I can sanitize these, no worries. And then it comes with some fake nails, a uh, nail file, all kinds of stuff in here, like the fa actual fake nails. There's some pumice stones in here. All kinds of stuff. So I really feel like I'm gonna divvy those up and my kids are gonna have a field day with those. It's mostly for the older two. Last year, what did I what did I get? Oh, a large thing of like the croc, things they put in their crocs. I got an assortment from Amazon for a fraction of the cost. If you go to the croc store and you get one of those little giblets, giblets, whatever the heck they're, they're called, it's like $5 sale price. It's insane. So I bought a bulk of them and then divvied them up between the children and they really enjoyed those. And they also like those squishy, I, are they called Nidos? It's like a toy, not really, but it's a squishy, but it looks like an animal. They still love these, those to this day. You know what else they still love after a while? I got these for their stocking, I wanna say three plus years ago, and I get one for their stocking every year because it takes them like 20 minutes to open it and it kind of just slows everything down, which I really enjoy. It is the mini brands. They love playing with them, but you know, not much. They kind of just collect them all. And these are, oh, the brand is Zuru, like a bunch of balloons. There are surprises in here. So they're wrapped in the tiny packaging. Is that Nutella? No, that's a can of soda. Anyway, it's like baby food and snacks and stuff. And the kids just really enjoy these for whatever reason. I guess it's always fun. You never know what's going to be inside the bag when you unbox it. A little can of Pringles Fruit Loops. Oh, how funny is that? I think at one point in time, I bought a little shelf for one of my girls and it was like a grocery store to put all their little things. We have since decluttered it because one, it's been years and years and two, they never really like played with it that way. There's so many. So anyway, it's not like a real grocery store. Oh, one, two, three, four. Why did I buy this one too? Maybe because I bought so many things for my older girls, I thought, Oh, I need to get something for my son, my seven-year-old, because sometimes, for whatever reason, I feel like it's always easier to get girl gifts. I don't know, because it's like skincare and throw it in, and maybe it's their age and interest. I don't know. But I got another one of these for Wentworth, and it's the grossest toys ever. Oh my gosh, he's gonna love that. He's gonna get a kick out of that. Bunch of poo loons. <laughs> like poop. If you say poop anything, my son is in. I found two of these. One is in my purse because it accidentally fell on the floor of our car and I like picked it up and put it in my purse. Anyway, it is bath fizzies? I don't think we've ever used these before. Magic bath crackles. I found these in the Target dollar spot. Maybe they were in the stocking stuffer section, although I don't think so. I feel like the stocking stuffer section at Target specifically because that's what I can speak on. That's where I've been. We can really get you. It's like $5 per item. And then by the end of it, you have a stocking that's worth $200. And you're like, are they gonna, is that useful? I don't know. I know some people who put really expensive things in the stocking, like gift cards. How much is on the gift card? Jewelry, is that real gold? For me, I'm like, fill it full of everything but I don't want to bust my budget on a stocking. Even though I did spend a lot of money on stockings, I feel like it's a lot of stuff that they're going to enjoy. I justified, it's cool. Hashtag justified. Is JT canceled? Never mind. I thought his dad dance was pretty cool, just saying. Okay, another thrift store find. You know what, I'm just gonna crack into this. It is a bunch of face masks. And you know, if you're buying face masks at the store, even the Dollar Tree, Best case scenario, it's $1.25 for one of them. This was $4 and it is a whole stack of them. I'm trying to rip this paper open. I don't know if these are quality. Like, is this from the Dollar Tree? Maybe. Is this Regenesis? I feel like that's a pretty good brand. Also, is that a face mask? 
No, okay. Ooh, hand and nail gloves. Okay, you never know what you're gonna find at the Dollar Tree. This is a charcoal clay bubble mask, and yes please. And then some hydrate facial masks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, and then some shampoos, all for the low, low price of $4. Are there ducks and chicks and bunnies on these? Yeah. Do I care? Nope. And I don't think my kids will either. Face mask is a face mask is a face mask. I actually got, I went to Target the other day and I got the, um, the packs. They were having a special. It was like buy Essentially buy two, get one free. Each pack was like $10. They had all kinds of things, lip gloss and crunchies and I don't know, hair to like face wash and hair clips, all kinds of different sets. So I bought three of those and I don't have them with me, but I'm gonna divvy that up in their stocking or wrap it as each of their gifts. Or when we always, we always have a special guest come by, his name rhymes with Anta Claus. I don't know why that's a secret. He always comes by. And so we like to gift, you know, have gifts for him to give to the cousins and everything. So I might wrap them for Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus and the elf to give out. So that would be a good idea. And you could save a little bit of money there since they're offering like the $10 Target gift card. Oh, I forgot I got these. This is for Meredith. She loves bath bombs. She loves the bath. She has a lot of bath toys, but in another sense, I feel like she doesn't have any of the cool bath toys that I see on Instagram. But it's all cool because comparison is the killer of joy and she's none the wiser, she doesn't have Instagram. So I found this three set of bath bombs for $3, which I feel like I could, could have gotten a better deal, but I didn't. And sometimes you just roll with the punches. Oh, this reminds me, these are from the thrift store and it is a bunch of artsy scissors. So like they cut in different, like they cut in this kind of shape and they cut in, uh, I guess that's a straight line, maybe not, I don't know, zigzag and all kinds of things. So, but I got this from the thrift store and I also snagged from the thrift store a ton of arts and crafts but I think I'm going to put together like an arts and crafts station upstairs in the playroom. Cause when I redid the playroom, I forgot to put together one of the sets of drawers. So that's just been sitting in our garage. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll put it in one of the kids' rooms. I don't know, but really, I went to Ikea, the last time I went to Ikea, short story long, I saw that they had one together and it was just full of art supplies, like construction paper and whatever, scissors. I was like, that's a fantastic idea. Also, how do I keep it away from Wolfgang getting into it? So logistics, I'm gonna have to figure that out, but I find so many arts and crafts at the thrift store. So I encourage you to check yours out. You never know what you're gonna find, probably a ton of stocking stuffers. I also found these, not at the thrift store, but these were, ooh, $5? You know what got me? Cindy Lou Who, they were Christmas themed and Meredith is loving Cindy Lou Who and the Grinch. So I figured she would really enjoy that in her stocking too. So last time I was at, oh, I don't know if this is gonna be a stocking stuffer. It totally could be. It's pretty heavy. Not this whole thing, obviously. You can either separate it and gift it to separate people or in the stocking or just wrap it as one whole gift if you know someone who needs some exfoliating body scrub. I thought this was a great deal. It was $13 for all four. And my kids ask for, I don't know what scents they are, but they're, body scrubs and they look like they're in really nice containers. Coconut, vanilla sugar, sweet mint, and the red one, I'll never know. Honey almond, all right, keep that away from Avelina. Eleanor was asking for, well, what's that like? It's really popular, sugar scrub, watermelon kind. Obviously they have different scents. She likes the tropical scent too. Oh my gosh, it's like a metal thing on the box. This box is quality. Where was I going with that? Oh, she was asking for one of those and one of those is $13, 10 to $13. I don't really know, somewhere around there. And I was dragging my feet buying it and I found that and I was like, that is good enough. It's actually better than good enough. Hey, you know what else I found them? One time when I was at TJ Maxx, I found these. My kids, I don't know if your kids are the same, if you have preteens, teens, tweens, whatever the heck they're called. If you have kids that are into skincare, wow, I feel for you and your wallet. Because man, the kids these days in their skincare cost more than what I spent on my skincare. But I found these, they're, um, I guess you can like hang them on your tree, ornament things. I don't know why they do that, but this is a great stocking stuffer idea. It is Laneige, and I actually don't know what it all is. 
It's the trial size of the water sleeping mask, another sleeping mask, oh, another sleeping mask, and a lip sleeping mask. Not at all what I thought it was. I thought it was lip sugar scrub. <laughs> oh, that's my fault. Hook on phonics did not work for me. And then this is for Eleanor. Man, the, how big are the stockings is what I'm wondering right now. Mario Badesco. Have you heard of this brand? I'm sure you have if you have a teen. Mini Mist Collection. So Eleanor loves her like mist refresher. I don't even know what these are. Skincare, facial spray, and then they have different things. So aloe and chamomile, aloe and cucumber, aloe and herbs and rose water, and then aloe with sage and orange blossom. So great things in here. Mini Mists for dewy skin anytime, anywhere. And one of these might end up in my stocking. I'm just saying. Someone's got to put something in mom's stocking. Hey, speaking of mom's stocking, I figured only one of my children will be lucky enough to get the nerds rope in there. Nerds candy, nerds gummy clusters. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a cavity just looking at this stuff. It's so good. When's the last time you had one of these? I would recommend not eating them, but I guess that's why I only got one. One special child, my favorite child, matter of fact, will get that in their stocking. And then I found this. Mostly for Meredith, she loves Play-Doh. What is that ball in there? Oh, it's just like rubber balls. Okay, that's great. My kids love balls, also chokeable, so I don't know about that. Play-Doh, Play-Doh is always fun. Every kid I've ever met has loved Play-Doh. Unless they have a gluten allergy, I think they, they might have gluten in there. And then the Crayola Crayola Rocks, the chalk, sidewalk chalk, such a game. Bring it to the park, keep it in your trunk, bring wherever you are, if you're literally anywhere with a hard surface and your kids are bored and you're having to be there soccer game or where i don't i can't even think about where we would be the kids will have a field day with chalk i love it it's affordable it's fantastic no fuss no frills and thrills gets them outside playing in nature catching up on their vitamin d and that's what life is all about hey this is something else that i found i almost bought avelina there's one comb in here it's like $13 at Target. I almost got her one. And then I was like, I don't want to spend that, you know? And then I found this whole bag of combs and stuff for $4 at the thrift store. I know you might be thinking, ew, that's good. It's a comb. I can disinfect it. It's very easy. No worries. We are always losing combs here. Most specifically, I have bought some for Alex to keep around in his pocket. Ooh, this is like a pocket brush. It's like new in package. I, I wonder if there's a mirror in here. Ooh, so fancy. How's it looking? <laughs> anyway, a nice comb. Oh, there's another travel comb. Ooh, another travel brush. Check this out. You guys, this is the coolest thing. I love thrift store shopping. <gasps> another comb? I never knew I'd be so excited about all these combs. Another one. Whenever I'm cutting the kid's hair, I can never find a comb, so. No more, gone are those days, I tell you, because now I have an abundance of combs. This is really what was catching my eye. Oh, it looks like it came in a set. Are these the same color? No, not at all. I think these are though. No, kind of not, I don't know. It doesn't matter, keep it in the shower. I think that's what this one is for. You like keep it in on your shower head. And then because in the shower, you're supposed to comb through your hair, you know? Actually, you're supposed to brush your hair before you shower because brushing dry hair breaks it less, and then when you're in the shower, combing through the, sh the conditioner. I, I don't have enough time for that crap. I don't even brush my hair, period. I think those are all the stocking stuffers. I think, essentially close enough. I don't know. I do have to get one thing for Wolfgang because otherwise, like, what, what is he gonna have? He's my one year old. Um, I'm just gonna throw some stuff in his stocking. I do have something on Amazon that I'm thinking about getting him. And then for when, uh, Santa Claus comes, I have to wrap these things. So I have paint, I have clay, always a crowd pleaser. I've got Zuru, a bunch of balloons. I've got draw like a pro. I grabbed all this stuff from the thrift store, but it's the package is still like brand new. I found this, it's like a DIY set. I know these aren't stocking stuffers, but first of all, they could be. How big is your stocking? Spiralograph, they sell little mini versions of this, I'm just saying. Ooh, this would be great for the garden lover in your life. I found this at the thrift store, basically brand new for $3. Inside it has little things to put your seedlings and sod in. It comes with the sod and it comes with the seeds. Unbelievable gift. 
So whoever gets that, I'm gonna have to invite them over and uh, convince them to start their garden just in my lawn. And then I found this, like brand new at the thrift store. Guys, if I bought this stuff brand new, I'd be spending an arm and a leg. This was $2 at the thrift store. And then I found a brand new Bath and Body Works handle. Ooh, it smells so good. Fa la 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 latte. Do you want it? Come on over. When Santa comes. It's a jolly good time, I tell you. Oh, and I snagged this. I thought this was the cutest little backpack. It was $5. No, it was $2.50. Everything was like half off that day. But $2.50 for like this really sweet looking back. Are backpacks still in style? I don't know. I got a lot of nieces that are that would like that, I feel like. Or maybe they would have liked it last year. I am out TBD. Okay, now I'm going to share with you the things that I got my husband for Christmas. You know, it's hard. It's hard to buy for him. And actually, I got him more than this. Hold up. Some of these things are gifts from the kiddos to him. Oh, that's not for him. And some of these things I found, like this pair of socks for his stocking. You're welcome so much. Ooh, this t-shirt. Oh, wow. So sleek. The black is so slimming. Eleanor got him some paddles and balls. Pick a ball, are you into that? It's all the rage these days, have you heard? There might actually be two paddles in here. There are, it's a whole complete set. And then you know what I decided? <laughs> that this would be great under the tree. Is it for him or for me? TBD. Spitting rhymes over here, Kimberly. Wicka wicka whisk. <laughs> um, if you don't know, this is a croquet set. And I've been wanting a croquet set my entire life. I don't really know how to play. I mean, I do, but like, I don't know all the crazy rules. I feel like it's a fairly simple game. You just hit the ball through the thing and then the first one to win, wins. But I know there are some crazy rules and all kinds of things. Is he into croquet? Not really, but that's okay. I found it at the thrift store, by the way. Um, brand new, I got it for $5 and brand new that stuff goes for, I don't know, 50? Plus. So I feel like if there were any time for us to start a croquet team, it would be now. There's certainly enough of us. And then I got him this pajama set. This is a men's sleep set. It's two pieces. The other, a lot of other ones that I found, I like the bottoms better, but the t they came with a white top. And I was like, that's just not practical for us. I do like the blue. I do like the pants and that'll be that. Okay, and then this stuff, that, that was like from TJ Maxx and the thrift store. This stuff I got off of Amazon, and this is, ooh, I actually forgot about these. These seemed really cool. I found some cool stuff off of Amazon. These are acupuncture slippers, so he has like back issues. I figured if you're gonna be walking around, why not walk around while you're massaging your own foot? Is that how these work? I don't know, I feel like he might like that. Yeah, they're acupuncture massage slippers. It was blowing my mind. He's either gonna hate them or love them. I mean, I guess he can be impartial about them too, so I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, and for his stocking, I got him a couple of things. This is a shoehorn. Isn't this cool? This is metal. We, he used to have one, it was plastic, and it was from Ikea, and we had it for years and years, and then, you know, just over time, it broke. But it's long like this. I know they sell the small ones, but it's long so you don't have to like bend over or sit down or whatever. You can stand up and just put your shoe on just like that. And so I thought this was really nice. I liked how it looked really quality with like the faux leather up here and then the metal rod. I think they do sell these at Ikea. I haven't seen them lately. Sometimes things like this you have to like specifically hunt for because they have all, all kinds of stuff all around the store and uh, probably more affordable than whatever I spent on Amazon, but whatever. A drive to Ikea is a long one. And then for whatever reason, I thought this was funny. It is a comfort cream and I don't know, it's supposed to prevent like chafing and stuff. Sweat protectant, odor neutralizing, anti-bat wing. I don't even wanna know the rest. <laughs> and then I found this for him. I think he's gonna love this. It's, it's a dad joke button, so you punch it. I don't know if he's like listening. I don't know if he's out there. Please stop listening. It's a dad joke button. How fun would this be? Over 50 hilarious dad jokes at the push of a button. Wanna know his favorite one? I'll share it with you. Should I share it with you or would that ruin the surprise? I'll just share, you can share with your friends or whatever. He says, what? Oh gosh, I'm gonna butcher it. I'm terrible at jokes. <laughs> what does a janitor say when he opens the closet? What does a janitor say? Hmm, what does the janitor say when he comes out of the closet? 
something like that. Supplies! All right, anyway, I'll, I'll leave the dad jokes to him because I completely butchered that, I'm sure. Okay, and then I found, he's really into pickleball if you didn't gather, and I found one of these shirts. He has so many pickleball shirts. He's got pickleball socks, which I should have bought him more because I feel like we can never find his socks. But I found this one. I forgot what it said. Oh my gosh, isn't that the coolest saying? Obviously it's from a movie. Obviously it's from a movie with one of my favorite actors in it. What's his name? Not Tim McGraw, not Robin Williams, not Leonardo DiCaprio. We just cut half the movies right there. What's his name? Tom Hanks. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. One of the best actors of our time. There's no crying in pickleball. That's perfect for him. That's his attitude about everything. And then his actual like big gift, because those are just like, eh, whatever. I got him one of these. So I was at TJ Maxx the other day and I was shopping around as I do and I saw one of these similar. You'll know what, what it is in just a second. It's too heavy for me to lift up. Probably not. I mean, I got some muscles here. Don't you see them? I was shopping around. I found something similar, but the box was this big. And I was like, oh my gosh. I looked at the price. It was a fraction of the price of what I spent on this one. And I thought, oh man, you know, whatever. I already bought it. I don't want to get another one. The Hopefully the quality's better since I paid more for it, right? That's what we think in our minds. Yeah, so this is massive. So I'm thinking the quality is gonna be better. And um, this is a foot calf massager. I spent a pretty penny on this. Will I also reap the benefits? Absolutely. So if you've ever been to the physical therapist or chiropractor or something like that, you know that they have like a whole body machine like this where like you put your legs in and it, you just kind of like in it. And then it literally massages every part of you. Well, I'm not about to shell out the money to get one of those chairs. Also, where would I put it? <laughs> I have no idea. But I figured something like this is easy. You can, it has like a handle on it. You can, it's portable, bring it anywhere you want in the house. And I don't know, we'll see if he likes it. Multiple comfy heating, time setting, deep kneading and rolling, 360 adjustable handle remote control. So the way, the pictures that they had it on Amazon is like you can put it on your calves or your feet, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, do what that with you, what you did, how, what, and who also wear. <laughs> but that is it, that's all the stocking stuffers, everything I got my husband for Christmas, wow. The past few videos have just been what I got. Blah. So now we have to wrap all of this stuff. That should be fun. And also last minute gifts for other people. I'm done with my family. D-O-N-E, thank you so much. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I got. I hope you got a few good ideas from this. If you did, I'd love for you to stick around, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.